My title is non negative scalar curves and area decrease maps on complete fluid manifold. This is a joint work with Xiang Song Wang and uh, Wei Ping Zhang. Can you and, see the uh, screen? I cannot see, see the slides. We, uh, we, we can see the slides. You can see, oh, maybe I should re rejoin. Sorry. Yeah. The net in my place is too big. Too. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Please. Okay, uh, my talk is based on our this paper, and uh, the motivation of our paper is to study uh, Gromov's sub foliated Epsilon twisting conjunction. This kind of said uh, X is a complete oriented n dimensional remaining manifold, and m uh, with m dimensional spin foliation, such that the induced remaining metric on the leaf of L have, have their scalar curvature is greater than uh, m times m minus one. Then x admits no smooth area decrease, locally constant at infinity map from x to sn with the degree of f is done there. So I first recall the definition of foliation. So let m be a smooth connected remaining manifold and the gtm be a remaining metric of foliation is an integrable subbundle. That is, if x, y are smooth sections of f, and the deep bracket of x and y is also a smooth section of f, then uh, the many metric induce a metric on the uh, foliation, and uh, we can define uh, a leafwise scalar coverage. That is for any x in m, f determines a leaf passes through x such that f restricts to the leaf equals to the tangent bound of, of the leaf. Then the metric induce, uh, determines a remaining metric on the leaf. Then we can define the scalar coverage of this remaining metric, and we have the leaf wise scalar coverage. Then let f Orthogonal be the orthogonal complement to F. Then we have the uh, orthogonal splitting. On the foliation, we have the uh, famous bot connection. It's defined as follows. First, we let uh, P is a projection from uh, the tangent bundle to F, and the P orthogonal is projection to the F orthogonal. Then let uh, Lambda TM be the lepsimeter connection on the tangent bound associated to the, uh, the remaining metric. And we have the induced uh, uh, connection on the F and the F orthogonal. Now, the both connection is defined on the F orthogonal. And as follows, if X is a smooth section of F and U is a smooth section of f orthogonal, then we uh, take the bracket, the bracket, and then projection to the f orthogonal. And uh, if u and x are sections of f of orthogonal, then we take this this way. In general, the uh, both connection is uh, does not preserve the uh, metric. Then we define the omega x is, is by this way is if the if the connection preserves the metric then omega uh, is to is to is equal to zero now we study the uh, the bar limit if we take we scale the metric in this way and uh, let f1 to fq be a orthogonal base of the uh, foliation and uh, s1 to HQ1 be an orthogonal base of F orthogonal. Then in this space, we can write uh, the omega in this way. So based on computer, uh, computation by Kavonil, you want and uh, we've been done, we see that uh, the rescaled metric, the scalar coverage of the rescaled metric uh, have a relation, uh, have a, a, a symptotic uh, in this way. The first term, the leading term is the scalar curvature of the leaf, leaf-wise scalar curvature. And uh, 
the the the, the second part is very uh, complicated. Complicated. If uh, the about connection preserve the metric, then this the second term is to zero. So in general, is is very complicated. So we have the uh, uh, famous the uh, consequence theorem. Uh, it says that if uh, uh, that f is be a foliation such that m is compact and oriented, while f is spin, uh, if there is a metric on f such that the Levi's get curvature is positive, then the he head genus is is to zero. Uh, is to zero. Uh, in general, in this theorem, m is uh, need not spin, so it had uh, it had genus in not a prior an integ. Uh, proof used the Kuhn-Scandalis uh, longitude index theorem and uh, the signal cohomology. Uh, in his proof, he introduced a very uh, a specific fibration, a fibration we call the uh, Kuhn's fibration. If m is uh, spin, uh, we have the theorem of John said that if uh, m is spin, uh, close and spin, if there is a metric, uh, a uh, metric on the foliation such that the Levi's scalar code is positive, then the e head genus is zero. Uh, in just proof, he used the cones of uh, fibration and the uh, sub delac sub operator. So we record, uh, record uh, the cones of fibration. The fiber, the, uh, for any X in M, the fiber is the uh, a clean matrix on the linear space on the uh, um, on the transversal space, and uh, uh, each fiber is a space of non-positive curves, non-positive curves, and using the uh, bond connection on the transversal bundle, uh, the foliation lifts to an uh, integrable uh, integrable subbundle f hat of T M. And the metric uh, lived to a Euclidean metric TF hat on the uh, on the lifted foliage, uh, and uh, we denote the TVM the vertical tangent bundle. Then it carries a natural metric uh, such that any two points P and Q in the fiber can be joined by a unique geodesic. In, in in the fiber, and we let the, uh, d p q denote the length of this geodesic. Now, for uh, any point in the fiber, uh, it, we consider the 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 coating space is identified with with this with uh, with with this coating space as the port projection. And by ne definition, the point determines a metric on the coating space, which uh, in turn determines a metric on on the on the coarse vibration uh, in, this, in this way. Is and uh, the the coating space in this way carries a canonical induced metric. And uh, we we let f hat orthogonal be a subbundle. Uh, which is a trans which is a transversal to f hat plus the the vertical tangent bundle uh, such that we have a stability stability of the uh, tangent bundle of the cones fibration in this way. Then the f hat orthogonal can be identified with this coating space. Then we carry a canonical induced metric on uh, on this on, on the on f hat orthogonal. Then uh, we have uh, the metric on the uh, metric on the three three parts f hat, the lift metric from the foliation and the uh, vertical tangent bound of the cone vibration and uh, f hat orthogonal in this way. So we have uh, we can split the uh, uh, the tangent bound of the cone fibration in this way and give the uh, give the metric in this way. 
then for the course we take an embedded section. So by definition, we take an embedded section equivalent we uh, we take a metric on the F orthogonal, also the transversal space. Since in the uh, in the same we assume uh, M is B, so uh, F hat plus F hat orthogonal is also B, is also B. Then we introduce the 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 restricted metric in this way. So the this part we uh, the, in, in, in the uh, metric uh, in, in the metric on the lift formation we rescaled by beta square and in the f orthogonal we rescaled by this way. Then for any point in uh, in M we can connect the P and uh, uh, and S pi P uh, by the unique geodesic in the in this in the fiber in the fiber of pi P and uh, we denote uh, rho P the uh, the distance between P and uh, and this point and uh, in, in the length of this 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 geodesic. So for any any positive R, we let M R the smooth manifold with the uh, with smooth manifold with boundary and define it in this way. The, the rho p is less or equal to r. It's a smooth manifold with boundary. Then on, on this smooth manifold uh, boundary, we consider the Dirac type operator. Uh, it, it's, called, it's called the sub Dirac operator and it is defined uh, by uh, Kavoni and the WP John. It, it acts on, on the, uh, this is the spinner bundle, spinner bundle with the scaled metric. And this is the interior bundle on the uh, vertical tangent bundle, interior bundle. Then, uh, since uh, MI is a smooth manifold with boundary, we let uh, that the boundary bound another oriented manifold in R so that in tilt R is uh, 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 MR and glue by NR is a closed manifold. Then uh, we we can do analysis on the, the square and uh, apply a single index theorem to to prove it, it is in John's paper is in this way proved in this way. On the other hand, on the other hand, one can also uh, apply the apply a tier parity single index theorem on MR directly. Directly. This method appeared in uh, Yu Zhang's paper. This paper used a tier parity single index theorem. So we uh, we just recall the, uh, the 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 method in in, in the proof of, of Zhang's paper. Now we we can that uh, uh, we select, uh, uh, select the, the in order to select our our result. We first induce the this definition. So for the uh, ground plotting, we define the air uh, decreasing maps or not foliations. That is, we assume uh, X L be a foliated manifold, a C Y map phi from X to X between remaining manifold. It is said to uh, epsilon lambda contracting along the foliation. If for all points, the map, the differential of map satisfies satisfied this inequality. Satisfied this inequality. If the epsilon equal to one, we also find uh, air area decreasing along the foliation. So we start our main result. We let M F be a non-compact oriented foliated manifold of dimension N and uh, GTM uh, be a complete remaining metric and uh, uh, GF be the rest uh, restricted metric on the foliation and uh, KF be the associated Levi's scalar curvature and the left, uh, let F from M to the uh, in sphere 
be a smooth map. Uh, area decreasing along the foliation and the locally constant near infinity. And uh, the degree of F is now zero. Then if uh, either T, uh, TM or F is B, and uh, the, uh, the Levi's skirt curvature is greater than rank F time, uh, time rank F minus one on the spot of DF, then we have uh, the infimum of the KF is uh, negative, is negative, is, is our magic. If M is closed, if uh, M is closed, uh, the similar result is proved by me uh, in, in this paper, the method paper. So as a consequence of our theorem, as uh, the gram of subfolated uh, epsilon twisting conjunction uh, holds, that is, since since we prove uh, uh, in this in these conditions the infimum of the uh, device scatter coat is is negative, so uh, so in, in in his conjecture he assumed uh, the scatter coat is is greater than m times m minus one uh, uh, on the whole manifold. So uh, from our uh, theorem. Uh, we see that uh, his conjunction holds. Also, uh, also we 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 see that if uh, if the uh, spin if the speed condition is replied by the uh, the manifold is B, then uh, the 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 bulk conjunction still holds. Now we outlined the the proof of the uh, our theorem. So we, we uh, uh, for sim simplicity, we plan the proof for the case uh, F is constant near infinity uh, and uh, M is B and the dimension M is given. So since F is constant outside, uh, compared to uh, uh, is constant uh, near infinity. So uh, we can choose a compact subset such that F is constant outside K. So the support of D, uh, DF is also in K. Then following uh, gram of losing, we choose a fixed point, we choose a fixed point and uh, uh, X zero in M and uh, uh, let D, that D is a, a regular addition of the distance function, distance function, such that the, the, the gradient D is is bounded is bounded. Then uh, we uh, we let B M is uh, uh, defined in this way. The uh, D X is is less than M for F I less number. Since M is complete, M is complete. We can choose a sufficient lot M such that. The the compact uh, the compact uh, subset is contained in in B M. Now, following gram of Lawson, uh, we take a compact hub surface, hub surface, uh, S three M in uh, in M minus B three M. The three M uh, here is uh, uh, for technical technical reason, uh, we take three uh, M. It, it, it will be used in, in, in later. Uh, and uh, cutting M into two parts such that the compact part is uh, denoted by, by, by this and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, contains B3M. Then uh, M at 3 m is, is a compact smooth manifold with boundary, with denoted by at 3 m is, is, is boundary. Now let M prime be another copy of uh, M at 3 M with a same metric and the opposite orientation. And uh, we let M hat be the manifold uh, obtained by glue, the three part, uh, uh, three part, uh, the M, the manifold and the M prime, prime another copy and uh, at 3 M minus, uh, minus, uh, minus one and two, uh, one, two. It is uh, for technical reason we take uh, the, the, this one. Take this. 
and this picture shows the the glue of the three parts, glue of the three parts. Now, uh, we consider the the cone fibrillation and uh, uh, the G, the metric G, uh, metric on the F orthogonal uh, determines a canonical embedding embedding of M into the cone fibrillation and uh, uh, we let M up be the smooth manifold defined before it is smooth manifold. Now we consider the uh, the, 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 the inverse of the, the, the hypersurface of the surface uh, and uh, consider the, uh, the H3M uh, intersecting with the, the MR, the smooth manifold weight boundary. Then, then that uh, we, we consider the inverse of the, this manifold defined uh, before and uh, Continue uh, and uh, intersecting with the MR it is uh, uh, that is uh, we uh, more or less we consider the the, the three parts uh, in uh, in the in the cone uh, fibrillation. Uh, so as we uh, uh, down have done for the uh, for the best manifold, uh, we do the same thing on the cone fibrillation. That is, we let M prime. Be another copy, be another copy of F, uh, M. And uh, we glue these three parts, three parts uh, uh, on the cone's fibrillation. On the cone's fibrillation. Uh, the, the point is, the, the point is that uh, uh, in the cone's fibrillation, uh, in, in, the, in this part, M3, uh, uh, in, in the manifold M3, at 3MR, this manifold, we use the, the scale metric, the scale metric. And on uh, the other two parts, we use the, the metric with uh, beta and uh, gamma is uh, uh, equal to one, the not the scale metric. And uh, we glue this manifold, glue uh, this uh, three, three parts. The difference is that in the cone's vibration, uh, 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 the manifold is a smooth, uh, smooth manifold with, with boundary, with boundary, and uh, uh, the f hat plus uh, f hat orthogonal, and uh, the vertical time boundary. We can also extend to uh, to the glued manifold, glued manifold. Now we consider the uh, smooth boundary of the. Uh, the sphere, sphere, and uh, uh, we take a regular value, regular value uh, in uh, uh, minus, uh, minus 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 the, the the image of f uh, minus k of f. It's a regular value. Then we can take a smooth ve uh, vector field on the sphere such that uh, such that the length of uh, the back field is is positive is positive on uh, S A minus Q. Uh, we can to the smooth manifold. Then we define the uh, V equals C X the Clifford action Clifford action by X, and the V star is the joint of V, and we take uh, V plus V star the the operator uh, on the smina bundle and the smina is a self joint. On the spinner bundle. Now, uh, since F is constant out, outside the, the compact uh, set, then uh, is constant. So we can extend extend F uh, to the glued manifold. Glued manifold, since uh, uh, it, it is constant outside K. So. Uh, so, so we can define uh, uh, on the, this two part, it, uh, it, it's a constant. So we can return to F. Uh, and the extended map can also lift it to a map to the cone fibrillation. And we lift, lift it, uh, the, the, the map to the cone fibrillation. And uh, we use the, the map to pull back the spinner bundle to pull back the bundle on, 
on the count vibration. Now, uh, let P be uh, uh, is a point in the count vibration. We connect P and uh, uh, S by P by the unit geodesic in, in the count vibration. And uh, sigma P is the unit vector tended uh, unit vector tended to this geodesic. And uh, for technical reason, we de we defined uh, a smooth function f tilde f tilde uh, such that uh, is between uh, zero and uh, one over four is zero, and uh, uh, one over two to one is 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 one is technical reason we defined. Uh, uh, this this function and uh, uh, and the way we use this function and the the, the vector is, is sigma and we define the smooth section sigma tilde of the uh, uh, vertical tangent bundle and uh, and we we can extend to uh, to a smooth section over uh, over the glued man manifold on the, uh, of the cone vibration. Now uh, we can uh, define the deformed, deformed twisted uh, uh, sub dirac operator on the on the Kuhn's vibration. Uh, this uh, the first term is the deformed uh, sub dirac operator, and uh, the second term is deformed by the vector sigma tilde, and uh, the the third term is deformed by the uh, anamorphism on the spinner vector bundle on the spinner vector bundle. So we uh, we consider square with uh, uh, we we compute the square of the of this operator is uh, equal to the, the three three terms three terms. So we need to uh, prove the certain uh, immutable or uh, uh, positivity of of this operator. Now the the uh, the key element is uh, one is. Uh, first, uh, follow ground point velocity and uh, define uh, uh, phi is smooth function. Smooth function is uh, one uh, t between zero and one is it, it, it equal to one, and uh, uh, one t is greater uh, than two is is zero is equal to zero, and the derivative is more or less minus one on the interval uh, one from one to. Uh, then we define a smooth function to some m from uh, this manifold m at the m to uh, the, the interval zero one by uh, by this formula. The key point is that uh, we use the dx o m is the the m appeared in in this way appeared in this and uh, and uh, uh, since by definition of phi, by definition of phi, we can extend extend the the function phi m to the the, the other two parts of the manifold by setting it, it to zero. So the, uh, so this is the smooth function on the on the glued manifold on, on the base manifold. Now follow uh Bismillah. Uh, we can de we define the, uh, the the two functions psi m1 and uh, psi m2 is two functions from the best manifold to uh, zero one the, the interval and the key point is that the gradient of these two functions is uh, have a uh, have a bound c o m the 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 m appeared appeared here is is very important for our proof. And the, the the continent C is independent of the metric. Now we lift uh, the two function two function to the cone vibration cone vibration. The uh, and we have the following uh, properties. Uh, following properties. The uh, if x is in uh, B M. Uh, if I'm, m1 is, is, is one is equal to one and uh, uh, in uh, uh, and, and in the outside the 
the B two M is two to zero, and uh, uh, five two M satisfies these 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 properties. These properties. Now the 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 point of these two function is that the five M one square and plus five M two square is is equal to one is equal to one. So we have this formula. So, so we have this formula. Now from this from this formula we have the the key point key point equality quantity in this way. So uh, the the last two term appeared uh, d five m one and d five m two d five m two and the uh, by the uh, by the by the the, the uh, this inequality inequality. We have the the admit uh, since we uh, since the first term is from the uh, from the the uh, the admit of the gradient of the phi uh, phi m the the two term the two term uh, the the second term is from the 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 scalar metric the scalar metric is in, uh, important in in our proof in our proof. The second, uh, the second estimate is uh, we we to uh, look orthogonal orthogonal base f one to f q of the f hat uh, is uh, is is a lifted form of of the base form uh, base of f and g f and we to s one to s q one the orthogonal base of f hat orthogonal. And uh, uh, e one to e q two uh, is the base of the vertical tangent bundle. Vertical tangent bundle, and uh, we uh, compute the bracket bracket of the uh, bracket of d and uh, uh, and the and and the morph them and morph them. And we have this we have this, this uh, estimate. The Ibsen over beta is from. Uh, from here, it, and uh, uh, since since the base uh, on the f hat, the base of hat, uh, f hat is lift from uh, from f and uh, from the, the formation. So the first term is independent of r, dependent of r. And the second term, second term, the gamma is from the the, the scalar metric. So we have the this. This estimate of the d uh, bracket d and of the endomorphism, and outside the support of df, uh, uh, since f is constant, f is constant, so the bracket is to is to uh, is to zero is equal to zero, and uh, uh, by the construction of the endomorphism v, we have this this positive lower bound, uh, positive lower bound. Of, of the square of the square. Now, uh, by John's com computation, computation, we, we we have the the formula of the of the d plus uh, c hat over beta. This term we have the 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 est estimate estimate. The key point is is that the uh, the bracket the bracket of d. Of d, uh, uh, and uh, c hat sigma two to our beta, this, uh, the bracket uh, have this have this estimate, and uh, the, the 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 r is is appeared here. The r is appeared here. Now, since f is uh, area decrease along the foliation, uh, uh, we have this we have this estimate. And uh, uh, the, uh, the term rank f minus rank uh, rank f minus uh, times rank uh, rank f minus one appeared here, appeared here, and uh, uh, by assumption, the uh, the scalar the Levi's scalar curvature uh, uh, is greater than rank f times rank f minus one. So we have uh, a positive lower bound. Of k 
uh, minus minus rank uh, f times rank f minus one. So uh, these two term uh, combine uh, we combine these two term these two terms these two we can control we can we can control uh, the, the, we can control this uh, the the d square is d square we can estimate. Then if if the uh, if we assume the the Levi's scalar curvature is non-negative, non-negative, and uh, the KF has lifted, lifted uh, the foliation, uh, uh, the, uh, the scalar curvature lifted foliation is also non-negative. Then combine combine this this uh, uh, estimates uh, estimate. We we can uh, we can uh, we can see that there exists uh, epsilon m r, uh, r and beta and gamma uh, such that such that the deformed uh, twisted uh, sub Dirac orbit satisfies certain invertible or positive uh, property property. Uh, then uh, as as what I have done in John's uh, Arnold's paper, we uh, let partial uh, M bound another oriented uh, manifold, manifold, and uh, uh, we uh, we glue these two manifold. We get a, a oriented uh, closed manifold. Then uh, uh, we also use uh, at here a single index here, and uh, uh, the degree of f is non-zero, we can also uh, get a contradiction, contradiction. So this is, uh, uh, so this is the, uh, the key element uh, uh, of, uh, uh, of our proof. So you uh, use our proof, uh, same proof, we also, uh, we can also extend uh, gram of losses, uh, uh, this two famous CM. It extends this to uh, famous CM to the foliation case. So we, uh, we recall the uh, definition of gram of losing. Uh, a remaining metric on a connected manifold M is said to uh, lambda to enlightable if, if give any epsilon uh, positive, there exists a common manifold uh, M epsilon to M such that uh, M epsilon is a spin and uh, a smooth map F epsilon from M epsilon to the sphere, the sphere. And the map is, is epsilon lambda to contracting. And uh, also the map is constant near infinity and uh, the degree is, is, is non-zero, is non-zero. This is a definition of lambda to enlightable metric. So a same of a famous theorem of Gomorrhosin said that uh, no complete remaining metric uh, which is lambda enlightable uh, uh, can have uniform positive uh, scalar coverage. Scalar coverage. So another definition of uh, Gomorrhosin is a lambda enlightable manifold. It said that uh, a, a manifold, a, a connected uh, uh, manifold, it said to uh, lambda two enlightable. If any remaining metric uh, R M is uh, is lambda two enlightable, in lambda two enlightable, and a famous theorem of Gomorrah Lawson said that a manifold uh, which is lambda two enlightable uh, cannot carry a complete metric of positive scalar coverage, scalar coverage. So our method, uh, use our method, we can also uh, we we can extend. It uh, these two uh, CMs, uh, CMs to the foliation case. So in order to state our uh, extension of above uh, famous Gromov-Lawson CMs, uh, we adapt the above, uh, above definitions in the following way. In the following way. Uh, a remaining metric on a connected foliated manifold is said to be lambda two, uh, lambda two enlightable along the foliation, along the foliation. If give any positive epsilon, there exists a carbon manifold, carbon manifold, uh, such that uh, either the the carbon manifold or the uh, the lifted uh, 
spin, a uh, lifted uh, for less in the spin, and uh, a smooth smooth map, smooth map f epsilon uh, from m e, f epsilon from m epsilon to the sphere, to the sphere, and the 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 smooth map is uh, epsilon lambda contracting along the foliage along the foliage and uh, the map is constant near constant near infinity and of non-zero degree non-zero degree this is a uh, 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 foliation uh, case of the of the lambda two uh, elaborate metric also we have uh, uh, the foliation case of lambda two uh, in lambda uh, in lambda manifold uh, that is a, a connected uh, foliated manifold it is said to lambda uh, it is said, said to be uh, lambda lambda two in lambda along the foliation if any remaining metric uh, if any remaining metric on m is lambda two in lambda along f along f so in uh, so we extend uh, the above, above famous chromophilogy theorem in this way. In this way, if M F is a foliated manifold, then for any uh, complete many metric, many metric, uh, which is which is lambda uh, lambda two in lambda along the foliation, then the leave wise scalar curvature of the uh, uh, leave-wise scalar curvature of the uh, 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 of the remaining metric cannot be uniformly positive, uniformly positive, and uh, 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 for the lambda two manifold, we have the following theorem: if M F is a foliated manifold, and uh, uh, M is lambda two enlargeable along F. Along F, then uh, the M cannot cannot carry a, a, a complete complete metric complete metric uh, satisfies that the leave wise scalar curvature of the uh, the many metric along the foliation is positive everywhere uh, uh, everywhere. The the difference is that uh, in the lambda lambda metric the 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 device curvature is uh, uniform is uniform uh, cannot be uniform positive. That is, that uh, it has a positive lower bound, lower bound. Then in in the lambda enlargeable manifold case, uh, uh, it's not it need not have a positive lower bound. It need not, need not have this. So thanks, I, I stopped the, the fear.